everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Warramai First Nations people on whose traditional lands these videos are made. And welcome to you, your guides, my guides, and the universal energies. Uh, noise next door, this two days to dig the swimming pool just seems to be drawing out. <laughs> Going on and on and on. I think they're nearly a uh, week now and, and they're not yet looking at finishing, so... <laughs> Bear with it, please. Okay, what I'm going to have a look at is I was asked by one of my lovely viewers in light of the Ted Cruz reading I did yesterday uh, to have a look at Beto O'Rourke using my Light Sears Tarot again. So, boy, we've got a Light Sears positive energy uh, day today. Now, Beto, um, he has challenged for several positions, uh, most recently against Ted Cruz. Now, as those of us that know, uh, Beto should have won, uh, but gerrymandering and some voter suppression and you name it uh, puts a real damper on that. But um, I just want to have a look at Beto going forward. Is he going to have another go at it? Um, and he's currently teaching at the University of Chicago. He's teaching about democracy at the University of Chicago. So he's not um, bereft. He's not without influence. He is uh, biding his time at the moment. But I just want to have a look. Is Beto going to run again now okay got a yes thank you guys yes and he's going to be successful not sure what position what position guys house no senate yeah okay i think he had a bat at the presidency at one stage there and was knocked out during the the primary debates he's not going to bat at the presidency thank you Boy, he's a huge Pete supporter. I am getting that he's really... Um, so, for those that want to have a look back at my Biden 2024, saw a combination when Biden stepped down. Oh, my goodness, I hope, I hope, I hope I'm right. Of a harris uh, Jedge combo in the White House. Beto's going back in... Pete, so he's not going to step forward to challenge that position is what I'm being told. So tell me, is Beto O'Rourke going to run for Senate? Show me the energy, show me the energies. Is Beto O'Rourke... Now I'm not sure about the rulings in, in Texas. If Ted Cruz is removed from his Senate position, is, is whomever the governor then install somebody else automatically until the next election or is there a by-election i don't didn't look it up we call them by-elections i think you call them special elections show me <laughs> things moving very for forward very quickly uh and then we have the the orator the youthful orator coming forward with a with a, this passion and planning message full of joy full of positivity but yeah it's there there is movement so tell me okay beto o'rourke's political i'll just have a look at his political future i won't look at a particular particular path show me beto o'rourke's political future going forward Looking at Beto O'Rourke, I'm not looking at Texas because I don't know that he'll actually run in Texas. Show me Beto O'Rourke's political future. Those ones, thank you. It'd be nice if it was Texas, but I'm not sure that it'll actually be Texas. Okay. The High Priestess. Coming into, coming into one's own power. So this is a yes, he is going to have a political future and this is about coming into his power from within. But this is also the uh, 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 um, connecting with the universal power. So this is Beto. He's really in touch with, um, he's, being, he's being guided in touch with, drawing on, on spirit. 
he's really in connection with his internal his internal self okay judgment so these are two yes cards judgment a collective awakening a a inevitability uh, but this is also uh, coming look at the look at the card itself I mean I'm always told to what deck to use by my guides it is about this is about coming into one's own power uh, drawing on with using the image on this card drawing on the inner strength this is huge actually for Beto for Beto two two women cards as well though so I'm really getting a feminine energy strength here he is very masculine don't get me wrong now I'm not a fan crushing on Beto at all um, he's he is 100% man male but he is able to to connect into the feminine energy he's so balanced is what I'm getting so balanced between masculine and feminine action and compassion nurturing and uh, mentoring oh, i'm getting yeah okay <laughs> see where this goes right base of this reading beto's political future he has a plan he has a plan looking into the future and he's he's passionate he's lit that flame and he's looking forward into the future in regards to this in the past a ten of wands not surprised packing up the baggage and moving down off the the mountain that he was on uh, this is about um, the ending of a cycle of a particular message can be the burden card but it's not him that's burdened it's him putting the burden onto uh, the external onto the external um, uh, carrier of this burden but coming down off this mountain i'm getting a pull to his yes he is but i'm not sure that it's texas i think he's coming down off the tech come down off the texas mountain so to speak and moving on moving on with his message crowning this reading two of swords it is a truth crossroads moment for him yeah i uh, yeah okay I'm just going to grab Pendulum right now for a look at this. I think this is about him deciding uh, honestly with himself where he's going to run. For those that are new, this is a amethyst that's been with me for 20 odd years. A bit of craft shop wire and a chain that I had in my drawer. Right, round and round means yes, they're ready to ask the question. Does this signify that, yeah, it's saying yes before I even get the question out. He is at a crossroads about where he is going to run, is what I'm getting. Can you tell me, please, is Beto going to continue the fight in Texas? I'm getting a no for that. Sorry, Texas. Is he going to, yeah, I'm getting a yes before I even get the question out. He's passing the baton on over to somebody that he's go, a, going to mentor, but he thinks has a better possibility in Texas. It's a sort of, um, the Texas energy I'm feeling is a sort of a swagger, egotistical mentality. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um... And he is acknowledging that it's he doesn't have the je ne sais quoi to, to succeed in Texas. So he is actually going to pass the baton on to somebody that has more of that masculine swagger but is on, on the progressive side. Does that make sense? Anyhow, we'll keep going. So this question is about Beto in politics, full stop. Oh, okay, sorry, deck was upside down as I picked it up again. 
immediate future death and rebirth, significant endings in the birth of something new. This is about authentic reform for Beto. I think this really sums up that no, he's not going to run for Texas. Yes, he is going to continue in politics, but I'm really getting it's not going to be Texas. Um, externally, wish fulfillment. So yes, he is going to, to get a position in politics where he feels that he can do the most good, and here he is. A youthful energy bringing forward the Ace of Pentacles. This is about bringing forward stability, security, um, growth, nurturing, but it's also very much a youthful energy, dreaming big and working hard internally. Hopes and fears. No fear there. Biden administration, stability, calmness. I think under the Kamala Buttigieg platform, he's going to he's going to find his position. Yep, here he is. He has everything at his um, at his call. This is about manifesting possibilities, manifesting opportunities. The voter has the support of the voter, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, New Star. We then also have the Six of Cups. Hanging on to what is hanging on to what is precious from the past. Learning from the past. And then we have the victory. The victory. We have the Queen of Wands. This is about being confident in their own skin. Uh, charismatic very articulate messenger, feminine, compassionate power, but bringing forward a new plan and a new passion. And then we have temperance. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to call that as a yes. Um, he is, but I don't think it's going to be within Texas is what my boys and what my cards are telling me. So what is the future in Texas? Show me the future of the Democratic Party in Texas. I really see... Who is it? Let me know if you know who it is. It's more of a... You know how um, Beto is sort of really willowy and smooth skin and... and um, you know, graceful in his movements. I'm seeing someone... It's not Ted Cruz, but someone more akin to the young Ted Cruz, that sort of chunky, more um, swarthy, um, not, it's not Ted Cruz, but it's more that yeah, dark haired, younger, um, swarthier, uh, more I'm Texan type person. <laughs> Uh, but a progressive. So let me know if you know who it might be. Just show me quickly. Texas going forward. Texas, the, the Democrats in Texas. Will Texas turn blue? How do I want to word this? Who, show me, show me Texas going forward with the Democrats. The Democrats in Texas. Show me the Democrats in Texas going forward. The Democrats in Texas going forward. Democrats in Texas going forward. Sorry about the digger next door. Democrats in Texas going forward. I hope you can hear me clearly over it. Democrats in Texas going forward. That one? Okay, thank you. Okay, quick look. Knight of Cups. Yeah. Someone, they're going to come forward with a compelling offer, is what I'm getting, a seductive offer. This is the Democrats in Texas. They're going to come forward with a seductive offer. They're not going to force it on the Texans. They're going to offer it. There's, so they're, they're, they're laying it all out, laying it all out and putting it on offer. Not going to force it down your throats. Okay. Strength. Yeah, I like this. There is strength in this offer. 
It is a combination of the lion and the lamb. Powerful strength combined with, so external strength combined with inner strength. This is a very seductive offer that's coming forward for Texas for this. It's who they're looking for is what I'm getting. It's who the Texans have been looking for and it wasn't Beto. They needed somebody they could get their teeth into on a Texan level. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. That was interesting. Okay. Behind the scenes. What's going on behind the scenes? Okay, very much a contrast. The devil energy. So this is behind the scenes. This is what's going on currently. There is this toxic seduction. But it is greed. It is avarice. This is the current... Uh, GOP energy in Texas it's very seductive but once you are drawn in it's yick it's it's literally um, drawn to the figure at the bottom there once you have been drawn in and captured by this devil energy it's um, how does one break free the alternative energy is this calm, compassionate, stable, feminine. Now, feminine is not meaning female. It's about nurturing. It's about embracing. It's about encompassing. It's about um, uh, growth. It is about all... It's, it's, it's a really positive, but from the heart energy. With the, It's the lamb. Okay, so this is going forward. What's coming out of this toxicity? Walking away. Oh, love it. Walking away towards a new dawn. Emotionally drowning this toxic energy. Coming out of this, again, a new dawn. Ten of swords. An end of, a, an, end of an era. And stepping over the horizon into this new dawn. Love, love, love. Go Texas. Karma hanging over. The Democrats in Texas, they're going to cut through. Their message is going to cut through uh, and magic is going to happen as the wheel of fortune turns. This is, this is the wheel of fortune turning. This is about significant endings and beginnings, closing of one door to open another, moving from the dark to the light. The outcome, Page of Cups, love this card. Something unexpected coming forward to enable pigs to fly. <laughs> it's not a pigs might fly. It is about bringing dreams to fruition based in love with the little heart there. So something unexpected coming forward that will enable dreams to be brought to fruition. Celebration. Queen of Wands, already uh, spoken about her in regards to Beto. Um, confident, confident feminine strength, uh, knows exactly who she is, bringing forward a plan. May even be a woman. No, I'm getting that it's a man to start with. But this is, this is the feminine power coming forward. The feminine side coming forward with a new plan, a new passion. The, you've got the all-seeing cat down the front there. So th this is about uh, one of my legislator's cards as well. Love that all these candles are being lit. This is great energy going forward for Texas. And here we have temperance again. And here we have... The Ten of Pentacles moving into a new era. Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady progress coming forward. We have potentially prosecution with the Queen of Swords. Pros prosecution of those that were, we've got the lovers here, which is about the unbalanced energy, about the dominance. So possibly prosecution to those uh, that um, had entered uh, uh, toxic contracts and agreements going back to this devil energy but we hear, have here the best of democracy the star of hope the 
seeds being planted to nurture something new with the seven of pentacles and we have this uh, hanged man things being seen from a different point of view a suspension a pause and then the ace of uh, sorry the fool so things being suspended and paused and then we have the new journey setting out on the new journey yeah I like those cards. So yeah, Texas. Gonna go blue. Gonna go blue. It's not gonna be under Beto. Uh, but there is somebody coming forward that is going to resonate, is the word I wanted. Resonate more where those that uh, couldn't support Beto are going to find themselves able to support this new person. Let me know if you know who it may be. And I shall leave it there. That was a bit of a long reading because it was a deep dive. So thank you for joining me. Love to you all. Catch you later.